So you might have seen these light blue lines as you're creating sketches inside a fusion. Well, what are they? Well, they're called snap guides. And let me show you how you can use them. So in Fusion, when you create a sketch, you'll notice that sometimes you'll see these little blue lines. So for example, I'm going to start at my origin. I'm just going to drag over here to the right a little bit and start to move up and make sure that that line is vertical. But then you'll notice when I move over to the left, you'll see this blue line, this dashed line appear. And that is called a snap guide. And what it's actually showing me is that right now my cursor is lined up with the middle of this horizontal line. So you'll notice I'm kind of far away from it, but as I move over there, it kind of snaps and shows up to that midpoint of that horizontal line. So I'm just going to go ahead and click there, start to move like so, and once again you'll see this blue line appear. And that's basically showing me, you know, where that I'm like horizontal to this corner right here. So you can kind of see the lines coming straight down. And I'm now at the exact distance uh, where that corner is. Or if I came over this way, I'm in line with that corner. But you'll notice that I don't really know where to click over here. If I click right there, it looks close, but that's not exact. So here's a neat little trick. So it's showing one snap guide right now. If I hover over this point for about half a second, and it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but there's a blue line now coming up from that origin point. And if I get kind of near there, there's a snap guide going vertical and there's a snap guide going horizontal. And I'll show this in another example here in just a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and click there, and I now know that that point is perfectly in line with that point there. So I just quickly kind of created, like let's just say the front of a birdhouse. Now here's another example. I'll create a circle, and I want to put uh, you know, the hole in the center of this you know, triangular frame. I want it to be in line with the peak, and I also want it to be in line with uh, the eave over here. And if I move, you can kind of see that there is a snap guide that appears coming down from the peak. So I know I'm in line in the middle, but I also want to hover over here for about half a second and then come across. And now you'll notice that there is a line going horizontal and a line going vertical. And again, these are those snap guides. So if I click there, the center of my circle is lined up with this point and it's lined up with this point. And I was able to place that circle. Now, here's the catch. This is not creating any kind of constraints. So for example, I can just grab the circle and move it around. It's not constrained to stay in line with that point or in line with that point. Snap guides are literally just a guide as you're sketching to kind of line things up. But you need to use constraints to lock everything down, okay? Same thing with like this point here. I can just grab it and move it around. It's not lined up with the midpoint anymore. I'll go ahead and undo that. So keep that in mind that this, this sketch um, guides are not, or the snap guides are not building constraints. Now, if I wanted to lock this down, I could. I could come in here and say horizontal vertical and I could say I want that point and that point to be vertical with each other. And now if I were to move the peak, you can see that that circle moves with it. Well, I could also say I want this point to stay in the um, vertical with the midpoint or the middle of that line. So I'm gonna say horizontal vertical. I'll go ahead and click this point now here's a neat little trick. You'll notice 
if I hover over this, I don't see anything, but if I hold down my shift key and I get near the middle, you'll see that that midpoint constraint shows up. If I'm not holding down my shift key, it does not show up. So if you hold down shift, I could go ahead and click there. And I just said that that point has to stay in line vertical with the middle of this line down here. And then lastly, I'll say that this point has to stay horizontal with that one there. And that point has to stay horizontal with that point there. So I just built in some intelligence uh, using the constraints. So for example, if I grab this corner, you can see how the peak is staying centered and you can see how the circle is staying centered also because of the constraints. Okay, let's take a look at another example here real quick. Um, I'll go ahead and do the line command again. I'll start here. So look, let's say I wanna create like an I-beam type shape. So I'm gonna move up a little bit, move across, uh, come up like so. And I want to be lined up with that point there. And you, got, you could kind of see that, that snap guide as I was down here, you can kind of see that snap guide appearing. Um, up here, you'll notice I don't see that, well now I do, I'll come across and it kind of snaps right there. So I'll click, I'll move up a little bit. Again, I don't know where I need to go over here, so I'm just gonna hover for about half a second. And there is my snap guide. I'll click and I'll go ahead and click. So this line is now, you know, in the exact same line as the, the top one. Now let's say I want to create something here. Um, I'll go ahead and create like a circle, for example. And if I, if I get near this edge, you can see it's snapping to that edge. And then there's the midpoint. So if I start to move across, you can see there's that snap guide for the middle of that edge right there. Okay. And then the same thing with this. If I hover over that midpoint there and I move up, you can see that snap guide there. And now if I get kind of near where both of them intersect, they both show up and I'm creating a circle that appears that's centered this direction and centered that direction. But again, not, not constrained, but it's more just for visually seeing it as I'm sketching. The snap guides are really handy for um, things such as like midpoints. So you can see there and I come down, there's the midpoint there, there's the midpoint there, and then there's that point. Okay. So I use the snap guides quite a bit in when I'm creating my sketches because uh, it really does kind of help speed things up and keep things kind of lined up. Again, it's not totally necessary because I'll probably come back and use constraints such as, you know, I want these two lines to be collinear with each other. So if I move one, the other one has to move also. Um, and again, there you see like, because um, they weren't constrained, this is no longer in the middle of that line. But if I were to come in and do a horizontal vertical, uh, that point there, and I hold down my shift key and click there, that point there, hold down my shift key and click there. Now when I drag this, you can kind of see that that circle is staying put. If I were to drag this around, you can see how that circle has to stay centered uh, because of the constraints. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe and share it with others. And as always, have fun learning fusion and see you next time.